Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! So, white out deck, all colorless, all the time. Although the water energy is just kind of there to be energy. I could use any other energy type, but if I put like one of each, that it would just make the list even longer than all this, these special energy cards. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff, Dratini, and Dragonair are kind of like the best attackers when it comes to colorless. So I was like, okay, I kind of kind of need to include them. But I also still needed some flying stuff, so I have Doduo and Dodrio, which should be okay just to try something new, I think. Possibly, hopefully. I mean, it's got sort of low HP-ish, but eh, it's something different, as I said. <laughs> Kangaskhan to grab those cards, it's the fetch version. Hungry Snorlax is a pretty decent attacker in on itself, so maybe okay, but the, I think the surprise you'll find in here is Lugia, because I thought, I have a lot of double colorless, maybe I should give that a shot. And uh, the weakness is Psychic, not Lightning, it's because, you know, it's uh, flying Psychic in the games, so it's just kind of a little bit something different. And, uh, resistance is fighting, and yeah, so <laughs> that's still my flying coverage. And as for the uh, trainer cards, it's all pretty standard stuff for consistency. A lot of draw, a lot of offset, a lot of removal, yes. <laughs> and also, if you didn't see before, 20, 20, and 20. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and give this a shot here. Who are our battlers? And GR number two is in there. But no, wait, didn't we get Heather before? And it, ah, whatever. <laughs> it's not like we have a choice in the matter. You know, who we're gonna battle? It just randomly generated per challenge machine uh, dealio. Um, probably should lead with Kangaskhan. Do duo is back up. And what I'm gonna aim for, of course, is to keep fetching until I can Comet Punch. Since I got double colorless energy, that might end up being uh, pretty quick. We shall see, though. Ooh, I got a lot of ways to heal myself here. And I, though I think what I'm going to do is just kind of sneak that double colorless in on the future. Like as a surprise. And call it a turn. <laughs> so she's going to go ahead. She's going to scatter those spores. Fill up her bench. And have a good time. Ish. I'm gonna plop that on Kangaskhan and continue on with the fetching. And then surprise with the Comet Punch on next turn. Got another potion energy from that draw. Parasect is here. Oh man. Oh man. It does the poisons. But you know, I have a full heal <laughs> energy card I could take advantage of instead of a double colorless. I think I may just do that. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the power of the special energy cards. I mean, sure, it's not as fast as Double Colorless, but at the same time, you can still kind of save yourself a little bit of hassle here and there when you can heal status conditions or heal your damage counters and stuff like that, so, yeah. It all depends on the situation. Don't do And... should probably do that. And... Comet Punch. I could always, uh... Use the potions on some other critter with less HP. I'm hoping for three heads here, that would be pretty nice. Eh, but it averages out to the usual 40. <laughs> it's kind of expensive when you're not getting more than 40 if you think about it, because it's, you know, it's four energy cards, but I'm, I have Kangaskhan here mainly for the fetching powers of draw and everything like that. Eh, there's a Wigglytuff, how nice to see you there, I gotta say. <laughs> uh... I don't really even feel the need to energy removal, I'll just kind of flip for the Comet Punches, I suppose. It's not really going to be probably more than 40 each turn, so... And I don't, I don't think they're going to be doing too much damage to Kangaskhan overall. Oh, there's another switch. You see, that's why she filled up her benches, just want to get, get everything all safe and ready to go. There's Lugia. Uh... Maybe I'll plop that on Lugia, actually. And Comet Punch. I was almost gonna fetch there for some reason. I could use three heads here, please? But it's probably gonna come two heads. Probably. Oh, even worse. <laughs> yeah, it's like, 
When it comes to coin flips and PK Gam, you can probably expect the worst of it to come. <laughs> anyway, just kind of just doing scratch damage, and yeah, I don't. She's just kind of burning her own energy cards here. So it's, it's like I'm not too threatened by things per se, you know. Anyway, Comet Punch. Probably gonna do 20 damage again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to 40 at least. Uh, so I, she probably won't do any more switching now, because I kind of filled up her, her old arsenal there with damage counters, yeah. It, just, it seemed like her strategy was to keep her Pokémon fresh, but not really not really going that way. Um, I really hate to discard all this stuff, but uh, I kind of want, want the energy. I'll think about it. I'll just knock out the... A Paris, assuming I'm able to. Okay. <laughs> it is always possible I could get four tails in there somewhere. And just the win. That could be handy for uh, something that's more at full health. Well, okay. Just <laughs> to say something more that's at full health, but if she's just gonna do that, I might as well just let her do that. <laughs> um. This could be a situation for another full heal energy, even though it would be too much energy for Kangaskhan, but eh, I'm not really too concerned with this. Uh, I'm just gonna put that potion energy on the Doduo, and I think I will actually. Um, yeah, I will, Professor Oak. <laughs> I mean, I do have a bunch of good stuff here, but I could get more good stuff later on, so. <laughs> Like the Dodrio! Yay! <laughs> Let's try out. Uh, Dratini. Pokemon Trader to potentially get something like a Dragonair. And... I already placed my energy card, so I kinda... <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> well, yeah, I didn't know it was coming with Professor Oak. I could've taken a guess and hoped that I would've gotten a full heal out of it, but... Mm, anyway, Kangaskhan is... It was on its last legs anyway, it just needs to go to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> Alright, let's try the Lugia now. The Legend, the card that was not released outside of Japan, at least as far as I'm aware. I don't think it was, but I'm gonna try the Arrow Blast. I got, oh sure, now I get two heads, but it's kind of overkill. <laughs> well, okay, maybe it's not overkill, because it's 20, then 40, then 60, but yeah. Anyway, oh, I was gonna say I just need one head for that Paris, but uh, I guess he's just gonna kind of burn her own energy card all day and all night. So, <laughs> although Lugia with her with its uh, paralysis could maybe be a potential issue, maybe I'm not sure I would count on that. But anyway, <laughs> I wonder if I should actually trade for that Dragonair. Come to think of it, because I got it in hand now. Yeah, well, and yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Anyway, that's Tails, which is a fail. And Professor Oak. Okay, let's go see what we can get with the Dratini. Hopefully, Dragonair. Numero 2 O is in here. I don't think I just. Mm, I was gonna say, I don't think I discarded both of them, but maybe I did. And maybe it's in the prize cards. Uh, I'll just do this and prepare for a future Wiggly. Perhaps. <laughs> Uh, recycle, put that on there, and Arrow Blast. Probably not gonna knock out Oddish. Pr wow, it did! <laughs> well then! That's nice to see! <laughs> like, 3 for 60 would be great! If, the, if I could get, 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 you know, get that consistently, but oh man. I have a uh, gust of wind though. I mean, uh, so I could. Wait, wait, oh, did I discard the. Mother of Arceus! <laughs> <laughs> Am I just discarding everything that I need? Hmm. Let's go for it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember how many I have left in here. I'm building new decks and I don't, I don't have enough time to memorize them. <laughs> I don't know. Can I get maybe two more heads in a row to win the game? <laughs> I can't count on that every time, but that would be kind of funny. Uh, but anything's. I mean, everything is just kind of filled up with damage counters now, if you think of Yeah. <laughs> So we should be able to finish this off here. Actually, we're guaranteed to finish it off because we're going to do 20 damage with it no matter what. So Lugia ended up being uh, pretty good <laughs> when you get the coin flips in your favor there. 
And that's our first victory. Kind of slow, but a victory nonetheless. And Gristen is up next. Wait, did I battle her before two in this one? Hmm. <laughs> anyway, um, probably should lead with the hungry Snorlax. Can attack right away, but I just might be able to stall out until I can get some stuff, especially since I got Bill. Well, it doesn't help that I'm not going first, but still. <laughs> Ooh, Professor Oak surprise! She'd be like, yeah, I gotta use it. Oh, she's not happy. <laughs> Wait, why aren't you happy with Kangaskhan? And <laughs> Tangela, you're gonna get head flips on the paralysis all day long with the... <laughs> Alright, let's just go ahead and energy removal the Bulbasaur to prevent it from doing its deeds of Razor Leafen. Double colorless super energy removal. So we're gonna eat and then double colorless on the next turn to surprise knock out the Bulbasaur. Happy days! <laughs> so that's the power of the double colorless. And roll out. So we gotta make sure, pick a counter, and there's our 50. Heck yeah! Another Bulbasaur though. I got the energy removal though, so this is kinda. Kinda sorta be a repeat in a way. It's gonna be a two turn knockout of the uh, Bulbasaur. Um, as a matter of fact, I think I'm actually gonna do it this way. I'm gonna eat and then do the rollout because, in case of she has a potion or something like that, it's gonna throw off my plan. I'll just rather do all the damage at once as long as I have the opportunity to. Uh, oh, 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 that's not what I need for the Wiggly. Oh. How? Hmm. Hmm. What if I put Wiggly back in the deck and just go for the Jiggly? And then hopefully redraw it with Professor Oak. Maybe? Possibly? Might be? At the very least, I'll just do a rollout for now. So, just see what we get on our next draw, because we aren't going to be able to evolve anything anyway. Ooh, double colorless, yes! Very nice! And if I get a Pokemon, I can just trade that for... Maybe I should hold off on Professor Oaking then, if I can just... yeah. Hmm. In any case, energy removal on the Tangela, and we're gonna eat, because we need to do 50 damage. And it's a little bit faster than doing two rollouts then. <laughs> oh, jeez. Another Pokemon trainer! <laughs> Why did you attach that to Tangela when you, when you know I'm gonna remove that counter? Why did you? Why? Anyway. Ah, uh, Scyther. Uh, Genghis Khan for the fetch. Of course. Uh, man, she is, she is having a tough time dealing with this. <laughs> and I plop down there. I'm gonna do Pokemon Trader with Dojo into Wigglytuff. See me, it's in my deck. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should have streamlined it more by having more tighten up evolutionary lines instead of it all being spread out to try a bunch of stuff, but... Eh, 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 you know. <laughs> I, I, I said I wanted to show all sorts of different cards, and yeah. I'm, I'll probably still be able to manage this way anyway. Right, Gang is gone. Fine, I'll Professor Oak. I mean, I, I, I got everything here, but I don't want to drop those nice super energy removals. And Bill. <laughs> Gushing up on the card draws, actually, now, but I already was already in a pretty decent advantage in general. Plop that up. Oh, oh, that's right, it's all fill. Oh, all fill! So that means I could go straight over to the uh, Wigglytuff. Hmm. Hmm. Well, not, at, not, not until I attack with... Uh, you know, the rollout to do some damage first, but yeah. So now she's probably thinking, oh, this is probably game over. Oh, Venomoth. <laughs> Kinda late for the Venomoth, but no potion on uh, Kangaskhan. That'll actually be decent for Snorlax, but it won't stop the Wiggly. Uh, boy, isn't Snorlax for retreat? Yeah, ooh, so I can't really go straight to Wiggly. And unless I can... Actually, I don't think I can. I was gonna say, unless I could do something about that, but nah. 
gonna go... I guess just... Yeah, just plop that on Wiggly. And... Yeah, eat. We'll throw her off! <laughs> think, making her think Snorlax is staying in play. But then I whip out the Wiggly, and then <laughs> we... And then we call it a game. And retreat. Doesn't matter if I have full heal or anything like that. And then we do the wave. Game over, man. Game over. Yeah, if I had Wigglies a little bit earlier in both games, it would have probably gone a lot faster. But, eh, eh, we're we'll fine. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Joshua, psychic time. Let's go, go. Wait, the what? Wait, that what? Wait, no, 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 that, that can't. Yeah, that's right! That, that had a psychic symbol next to Joshua when he doesn't really... He's from the Water Club. Huh. Interesting! But anyway, I think what I'm gonna do... is plop everything on the field and wait for a Pokémon to trade for. Because both those Pokémon are decent to start out with there, so... Oh, well, did not get up. Oh, this could wrap me into submission. Because this this version of Dratini has, if you do, I mean, if you have two energy cards, yeah. I thought about using that one because I'm using double colorless, and since I'm going to evolve it into Dragonair anyway. But I, it, it's it's a lot of energy, you know, just for the basic. I mean, yeah, you just think of Bubble. You know, you get the paralysis for ten, but for just one energy card, and yeah. Uh, so anyway, energy, energy search, I was gonna say, so anyway, I didn't do any damage to Dratini there, so that was kinda, sort of a bust in a way, but, oh, there's Dorgio. Well, I guess, um, guess I don't need the trade. The card is three energy, yeah, for the tri-attack. I'm hoping for two heads out of this, but we shall see. Well, that's a, that's a pretty good start. Oh, great start. Fantastic start! <laughs> I see, this is gonna be one of those sorts of parts. Oh, you're not going to... Oh, you're out of energy. I see. I see. The trio. Number two could be coming. Uh, energy rule and potion. Do I wanna... Do I wanna hit that Dratini? Because he could just keep causing paralysis forever if, if I don't get two head flips. <laughs> But that just sounds like paranoia, <laughs> so we're gonna go try attack. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> There's one head. Two heads, okay! <laughs> this is why I don't like coin flip damage attacks, <laughs> generally. Oh, Wigglytuff. Uh, so I should probably trade for a Jigglypuff if I can. Oh wait, wait, no, no, yeah, wait. Do I- Oh, am I thinking of last game? Yeah, I'm thinking of last game where I had, okay. On the field. Uh, so we're gonna go trade. No, no, Dragonair, two, Jiggly... E. <laughs> Plop that on there! Put that on there, and hopefully I'll get two heads again. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the first one's a guaranteed tails. And there's our 40, though, so that's turning out all right. Three for 40 I can live with. Three for 20 is not so good, but... <laughs> like I said, there's not a lot of good colorless attackers in general. I mean, yeah, there's the Wiggly. That's that's always a given, but <laughs> I already got that in here, and I only have two copies of that Jigglypuff anyway, so... Uh, here we go! Here we go! Can I get three heads? No, of course not. First one's always gonna be Tails. And I have to... <laughs> see, three for twenty is very bad. <laughs> Nothing's happening to that Dojo though, because of the lack of energy in general, though, however, so... I think we're still okay in that regard. Dragonair... And, yeah, I still won't really <laughs> have any use for the energy removal, which is good, if you think about it. Because that means we are in decent shape, but of course, I still can't get two heads out of that. Now he's probably gonna switch if he can. <laughs> uh, oh, Polywag. Okay, so he's not switching. Otherwise, he would've put it on the... Uh, and I just go try attack. Yeah, I have the energy removal for the polywag, but I don't really think it's gonna be that big of a deal since I'm just gonna super energy removal when he tries to go for the water gun and really throw him off. And yeah, there's the polywag. 
And Bill. Oh yeah, I'm probably gonna get some energy, as predicted. <laughs> Here's another polywag. Oh, goes the polyworld. Uh, is that gonna be useful to you? Uh, well, maybe, if you get heads. Because, well, I guess tails, but possibly if I get tails as well, that's be 50% chance for you, and yes, yeah, that's, that's iffy when you're relying on that sort of thing. Alright, so super energy removal, wiggly tough, potion energy, bye bye, and. Well, I gotta kinda fill up the bench in general. So, anyway, try attack! Come on, all the heads in the world! All the heads in the world! Thank you! <laughs> Our average is back up to being average, I think. <laughs> well, chances are we're gonna knock out Poliwhirl on the next turn, then. Oh, yeah. No, you did a switcher. Could use that gust of wind. Oh, oh, oh yeah! <laughs> I could use a gust of wind. Uh, look at that! My deck... My deck loves me. I'm just gonna do a kick. I'm not trusting the coin flips. Not trusting... The coin flips. Yeah, that kick for uh, 1 for 20 is pretty nice. That's part of why I had that uh, uh, Dodrio in there. Besides just having something different, because it sort of reminds me of Radicate in a way. Anyway, <laughs> see, that was a psychic energy over on him. Interesting. Alright, GR number 2. Avery is a go go, but not the Avery that we know. This is the masked Avery, and man, I'm. I think I'm actually pretty good to go already. Uh, because if I put a Lugia there, I have the double colorless to immediately start basically doing 40 damage to everything generally on turn 2. I mean, I could do even more than that, but it's going to average 40. And with the super energy removal, that's pretty good as well, so I'll just see what he does. To Ekans it goes. And. And. Let's just dump out our stuff. Arrow Blast. Two heads would be nice. I wouldn't count on it, though. I was counting on at least one, though. That would be kind of nice, but... I guess if it happens on the next turn, that would be... just fine. Ooh, Dark Arbok could be an issue with its poisony poison. But we shall see. I mean, I, I still have the full heal energy, you know, just in general as a... Healing dealio. Oh, also the weakness of those special energy cards is that uh, when when you're healing stuff like the poison, yeah, you could only attach that one energy card per turn. So, so it's sort of like a, I guess you could say a a balancer of that because otherwise it would be a turn accelerator or I should say a card saver in a way, and that you normally have to have a full heal plus an energy card, and I got my head flip, but yeah, but yeah, the uh, thing about that is, if, you, if you're trying to heal your active Pokémon with that energy card, it's not really gonna be as useful as it would be if you need to power up that Pokémon with a set energy card. Like, I don't need to give Lugia full heal energy now, although I guess it would be kind of useful, you know, <laughs> and I'm gonna go wipe out those energy cards. Probably should have did that on the last turn, actually. And I'm gonna keep that Jigglypuff going. And I'll just Professor Oak. I think that would be the wise course of action here. Could get a... Oh, I was gonna say, could get a Wiggly. I did, but I also got a Dragonair. Might as well get everyone going since I got a lot of time to, uh... Get everyone powered up thanks to Lugia's high HP. Two heads would be a KO, but of course I can't get two heads. No, no. I could get all the tails in the world, but not two heads. <laughs> nah, it's fine, actually. It's not that big of a deal. I know the average is 40, we know, we know. And 10 goes through, of course. But yeah, that, that, that Diglett's not really gonna do anything to Lugia, even at full power. So we're going to continue focusing on the Wiggly, which also means I should probably fill up the bench. And this is a guaranteed knockout, so it doesn't matter what I flip. Oh, sure, now! It's just like the game taunts me! <laughs> anyway... <laughs> uh, I could swat switch over to Wigglytuff if I do a little bit of damage to Onyx to 
quickly knock it out in a guaranteed fashion. And I see there's nothing that fighting Pokemon is really going to do that he's got out there. Chances are there's nothing that's really going to be able to do energy removal. That's pretty nice to see. Let's do that on the Onyx to prevent the bind. And recycle on the Wiggly. Arrow Blast. Let's -a go. Come on, heads. Come on. Oh. <laughs> well, it's the 40. So I could potentially knock it out on the next turn. The chances are in my favor that I'll knock it out on the next turn with Lugia straight out without it needing to switch or anything like that, but... Well, well... Anyway, I'll, I'll give it a shot. I just need one head. One head! Oh. <laughs> chances are never in my favor when it comes to coin flips. <laughs> Ever! <laughs> This is I don't do luck based stuff. <laughs> well, there goes the Lugia though. Because the poison O. Didn't, yeah, that paralysis didn't much matter. Alright, it's a wiggly tough. Here's a go go. I'll get some guaranteed damage out of that. I'm gonna wipe out Diglett's energy there. Both of them to be precise. And. What if I should attach that full heal of Dragon Air or, or save it? Oh, the decisions of special energy cards. I'll say, hold it. <laughs> Alright. Onyx, gonna be trying to bind me. Or maybe not. <laughs> um, well, good trade for a basic Pokemon to really power up the wave, but I don't think I have to. Everything's at a pretty low HP. Maybe what I'll do is Potion Energy Dragonair to heal it, and then do the way you just gonna do 50 instead of 60, but this is kinda, kinda moot, so it's gonna take two attacks to knock out Onyx anyway, even at full power, so. And the bill. I mean, yeah, I could have put plus power in the deck as well, that could have been an option, I suppose, but... Uh, I think we're doing alright with this current setup. <laughs> uh, I'll just attack. I just want to save at the super energy removal, but I can really throw him for a loop. Oh, that, oh, he did power up. I'm an idiot. I didn't realize he was powering up Diglett. To... <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, it should be fine, though. I'll just keep on powering up. You know what I, you know what I should do? Let's get a Dodrio. Just in case things go awry. I don't think it will, in all honesty. It could, but I got the Dragonair already, so... And Sanshu could possibly... Oh, it will knock out Wiggly. Dang, that, that, that should have super energy removal. Oh wait, no, no, it's... Why did I think it was at 20 HP? My bad. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> um, I think I should probably attempt to attack with the Wiggly, despite the sand attack, and I'll probably miss. <laughs> Here we go! If I get heads, I win. No! Ah! <laughs> and it's gonna be a KO. Well, I tried. <laughs> oh, jeez, those coin flips. Those coin flips. Uh, I guess Dragonair, as I was, as I was promising. I, I, I guess in theory I should go for the uh, um, the slam attack, you know, even though that's coin flex, because I could knock it out. Mm, mm. <laughs> okay! Ah! So now he's just gonna switch. <laughs> nah, that was, a, that was a low chance of happening in general. Oh, I, oh, I was gonna say, did you evolve that into... It was, it was weak? No, you didn't. You should the other one. Alright. Uh, and now I'm actually, maybe I should Hyper Beam. Just to kind of suck up the energy. So we're gonna go wipe out the fighting, because it matches the type, and call it a turn. I need to do 50 damage. If only my Wiggly was around. <laughs> if only the Wiggly. Um. Put that on a Doe Duo. And, oh, maybe I should have... Maybe I should have put it on the Dragonair, actually, but I was gonna go... 
trade hungry Snorlax for another Dodrio for their quick attacks, basically. But, eh, I had to double kill this, I don't know, I'm... <laughs> anyway, Hopper Beam! Oof. And... Hopefully we can keep his energy reserves down. I think I may just... Oh, dang, I was gonna say, I think I may just go for the slam on the next turn to see if I can KO it. Uh, I think I'm gonna go Professor Oak and try for the Gust of Wind. Unfortunately, yeah, I'm gonna have to discard that, as I thought. Just so I would check if I could evolve, but I couldn't. Uh, definitely probably a good idea to plop those on there in general. Uh, well. <laughs> Actually, I should probably do Sand Shoe to guarantee the game, because I may not get the coin flip if I go for the Sand Slash at 30 HP. Even though it's 30% chance of me getting two tails, it still could happen. <laughs> Well, so far so good with this deck, but Courtney is up next and she can do a poop ton of damage. But with our energy removal powers, we might very well be able to do pretty well against it, so... We shall see. And... Should probably get some this time, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I should probably focus on Dragonair, if anything, because of said energy removal, but I don't really have the Dratini right now. So, oh, maybe oh, I was just thinking, maybe I should use the other Jigglypuffs. You know, the double edge and expand ones. Just for the sake of variety, I don't know. Although this one is, it's got the nice lullaby and high HP, so. But I was thinking, you know, to show more different cards in, in the way that I play them and stuff like that, but okay. Well, we should be fine with this one. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna go for the Sleepy Sleepies. Oh, Professor Oak, that means she's probably gonna get the Legendary Moltres to get a poop ton of fire energy into play. That definitely could pull out a Moltres if she... Oh, no, okay. <laughs> uh, Bill? But yeah, her idea is to get the Legendary Moltres to get fire energy to power up her high-powered attacks and just kind of sweep, but she just kind of kind of ended up at a standstill there, which is kind of awkward. Uh... Yeah, let's go for a lullaby. Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Sounds more like a doorbell than a lullaby, actually. <laughs> and the wakey wakeys. Unfortunately, unfortunately. Oh wait, she didn't power up this pony ta? Couldn't this I thought this pony cut could do more damage, but yeah. Hmm. I, I thought she was trying to give Ponyta two energy cards to kind of like be back up in a way? Hmm... Interesting... Interesting... Anyway, I should probably dump out my stuff. <sighs> I guess I'll discard the Dragon Arrow. <laughs> I, I said that would probably be a good idea to keep, but I know I have another one in my deck somewhere. And I still don't have a Dratini anyway, so maybe that was fine. Uh, I'm gonna go... Try for Dratini, though. There we go. Oh, I should have oh, looked through the whole content of my deck to see what the poop I had. Like, I could have found out if I had the other Dragonair in my deck or if it was uh, in the prize cards. Well, I can't do anything more here except other than Lullaby Song. <laughs> Hopefully the Ponyta will stay nappy-nappy. And it did, so we are good to go. I could very well just end up sweeping with Wigglytuff. Uh, especially if I get a potion energy to uh, give Wigglytuff a little extra HP for things. Energy removal is definitely going to hit the <laughs> hit the field there. Um, I'll just Professor Oak, so I'll see if I can get said potion energy before I attach anything. Uh, well, well... Well, <laughs> I guess put that on there, and <laughs> at the very least, I'll still get a wave out of it. But I wanted to heal a little bit of HP from the scratch damage it was taking. So, well, not gonna happen. Oh, there's the legendary Moltres with the power of Fire Giver. How many energy cards will it give? One to four. That's how many. We got one. We've got two. We've got three! She may get them all! 
and she didn't. <laughs> but three is still pretty sufficient to keep the attack power going there. Uh, shuffling the trainer cards into the deck, it's not really... <laughs> not really that big of a deal, actually. <laughs> and discard one energy card. Oh, no, that's not happening. <laughs> Of course, you get all those coin flips. Oh, sure, now I get the potion! <laughs> it's kinda late for that now. But I'll put it on uh, the Dodrio, I think, because I can get that going for the future and do the wave for now. And just kinda sweep another potion! <laughs> and Nightly Guards run for the fires. Yeah, she's got fire energy for six turns now. <laughs> Oh, actually, no, no, they went to the deck, not the hand, excuse me, so that, it's still three turns of fire, my bad. <laughs> oh, jeez, it's not energy retrieval. It's, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna save the double colorless and do the wave. So, we're just gonna power up Dodrio in the slow fashion. Yeah, that's a nice one to use double colorless on, is the Lugia. Uh, Moltres probably won't get too far. Oh, you know what I was thinking, because I'm using water energy. <laughs> <laughs> I just so happened to choose the energy that our random opponent has that has, yeah. That uh, should be fine. Uh, oh, wait, wait, actually, before I... Oh, dang it. <laughs> well, I got a bunch of double colorless, so maybe I'll do it like that and do the wave. See how things go in that regard. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, another fire giver. And since you put a bunch in the deck, you know she has the fire to be given. And he's got the threes, will it be the fours? Wow, she did. <laughs> and shuffle, 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 shuffle. Actually, since it's kind of a random effect, I don't know why there's a deck shuffle now that it is. Well, actually, maybe... Oh, I guess maybe it does make sense because of the... If you're taking him out of the deck, the game... But then, you know, it has to re-randomize the cards in the deck anyway, so, hmm. I don't know, I'm, I'm just being dumb here. <laughs> um, I'm really thinking I should save that, you know? Just kind of go plop this on the Dodrio and do the wave. Finish off the Moltres. There isn't any water discard going on from the dry up there, and oh, yep. Here's the Dragonair! <laughs> Oh, jeez. I think I just go too fast for my own good sometimes. Uh, yeah, let's do the wave. She's probably gonna attempt to retreat Moltres. And it's kind of her best shot. Oh, wait! She didn't... What? Isn't this Moltres 2 energy retreat? Yeah, that was probably a mistake. I win. <laughs> kind of. I mean, yeah, you know, I, I, I still need one more prize card, but I mean... I win this particular encounter. Uh, maybe she was just thinking that she'll be able to get Moltres all good to go in the meantime. Oh, she's not. <laughs> I'll go discard a potion energy. Oh, I just realized all the potion energy went to Dodrio. And discard those just for the sake of safety, because you don't want to get an accidental dive bomb in there, do we? We also don't want any sort of switches, do we? Nah, I didn't think so. Let's do the wave, finish off the Moltres, and consider this deck a success, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, things went pretty smoothly. I guess sometimes, if you think about it, even sometimes smoother than the Rain Dance deck, because it was. Because the Rain Dance really relied on Blastoise, and also a lot of energy cards, so yeah. Anyway, our streak goes up to 15, and I got to show you a new style of deck. Heck yeah! And now, I should probably check my mail to see if we got that card. <laughs> Bill's Computer! Yes! Thank you for using Bill's Computer. The card you trade in alongside your Bill's Computer has evolved! The attached Pokemon card is your prize for trading. Promotional Amastar level 36 is in my possession! Behold the tentacle grip! You can draw... Two cards for every heads. Uh huh. That's not too shabby of a of a, a attack there, especially since it uses like it doesn't have a limit to the water energy. 
So you could get up to Amistar here, even, even though it's a stage 2, of course. Put a bunch of water energy on it with, say, Blastoise, and then draw a bunch of cards. And then you could still attack with Corrosive Acid. And also cause paralysis, which you may you know you may also not be able to attack. But yeah, that's not too shabby of a uh, card there. Isn't your new card wonderful? Yes, it is. We will, we will be waiting to trade with you again, Team GR Game Center. Happy face. I shall wipe that out of my inbox, and I should probably go do another trade over at the Game Center. So let's just go ahead and take a quick blimp flight over there and. Withdraw our cheated coins ish. <laughs> you know, as I said, I don't really need the cheat for the coins. It's just, it's just a save time. There's, there's a lot of, lot of stuff that you gotta. Yeah, you just gotta keep playing that game for hours on end. Probably the coin flip for the maximum coin output. So anyway, <laughs> let's grab those coinages. Go integers and. Turn on that computer. What do you say we get the Haunter this time? So we're gonna trade in... Uh, isn't this the bad Haunter? <laughs> well anyway, I got a lot of copies of this one. Yeah, that's the bad Haunter! You're going away! For, <laughs> for that Gengar for sure. <laughs> and we shall see what that Gengar is like later on. But for now, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I'm back over at the computer with a new deck.